Hi everyone, I'm Gabe Rosamora and welcome back. So I love lashes. I love, love, love lashes. Lashes, lashes, lashes. I love lashes. And I love that false lash look. I love to play with wispy, long, thick, fluttery, sexy, sultry. You can do so much with false lashes, but sometimes it's a bit of a commitment. You have to cut it, you have to fit it, you have to glue it, you have to make sure that you have glue with you throughout the day so it doesn't like lift up, and you have to make sure you take it off at night, take care of them, put them back in their box. It's a commitment, and I don't have that much time every single day, so I think for today's look, I will be showing you how to fake the false lash look without the commitment of false lashes. And to do so, I will be using the Ico Black Magic Lash Curler and Mascara Set. So first, you wanna curl your lashes. We're gonna be curling our lashes twice throughout this little mini tutorial. So, you wanna make sure you get most of your lashes in there, lightly press to make sure you're not pinching your skin, and then you can press. I like to hold the lash curler for at least 30 seconds so the lashes really get that curl and it's really deep into the hairs. And you can get really precise with this eyelash curler. It gives you the right amount of pressure and control. You can already see the lashes starting to curl up. I clearly didn't like wash my lashes before I did this because I still have mascara from yesterday. <laughs> so I still have a little bit on, but as you can see, my lashes are already so much more curled on this side as opposed to this side where they're like, I have curled lashes naturally because I have curly hair. And even then, these are my lashes, and they don't even curl as much as this eyelash curler just made them. So these are the lashes, prepped and curled before you put on the mascara. And now I'm gonna take the Black Magic Mascara that comes in the set. I love when wands kind of have this like dip curl to it, because I feel like you can really get the majority of the lashes, because it hugs the eye. Your eyes curve, so when the mascara wand curves with them, you can get the majority of the lashes covered with the product. And this mascara gives you lift, volume, and more curl for that dramatic lash look that we're gonna go for today. So when I apply it, I start off at the base and then I kind of wiggle it up just so that the lashes don't get so clumped up together. It really separates them because I want the lashes coated individually so they look like perfect, like false lashes. So you wanna make sure the hairs are evenly coated because the mascara wand is built to do so. And then if you wanna turn the lash curler to the opposite side where it curves up, that's gonna be a lot easier to apply to your bottom lashes so you're not too worried about getting it onto your skin. You can be a little bit more precise with this side. Okay, so now this is both eyes with the mascara alone with one curl to them. So I'm gonna show you how to make them even more dramatic by curling them again and adding a second coat. So you wanna get your curler. You wanna go back into your lashes. You wanna be more careful on this step because your mascara is still gonna be a little bit wet so it does get stuck to the curler. So you're not gonna apply the same amount of pressure that you did before you applied product, so you will apply half of that pressure. But because you have so much control with this eyelash curler, it'll be a lot easier to do. So you make sure you get all your lashes in there before you close, and you start to go in slowly and you just apply pressure, not too much, just enough. And you wanna hold this for like about 15 seconds as opposed to the 30 seconds that we did in the beginning. And as you release, you wanna be so slowly with when you take them off because they do get stuck to the curler. But as you can see, they just look more curled. And you can keep doing this as many times as you like. You could even go towards more of the ends of the lashes to make them really curl. Just be a lot more careful with your eye because it is gonna be sticky. If you take the lash curler off too quickly, you will remove some lashes, which is not what we're trying to do. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Perfect, so it's a lot more curled. And now I'm gonna do it to the other eye. Now I'm gonna get the mascara once again and apply a second coat, being very careful with it, and more so focusing it on the ends of the lashes as opposed to the base, since we've already deepened, thickened, and darkened the base. Now we can really focus on lengthening the lashes. So see, this is one eye with lashes curled twice, mascara applied twice, and this is only one application. So they just look thicker, a lot longer, and a lot fuller. 
One tip with mascara that I've learned within the past year was if you ever get it on your eye or on your skin through the application process, just leave it alone. Leave the mascara alone. I, I know I'm prone to panic and want to remove it right then and there, but if you leave it alone, mascara tends to dry and because it dries on the skin, it will flake off a lot easier and be easier to remove as opposed to when you try to remove mascara off the skin when it's still wet. And this is the final look. As you can see, my eyes are just more awake, more open, more prominent without the commitment of false lashes. I gave you like a very false lash look without that commitment. I think it's a lot more fun. It's a lot more bold, it's a lot more daring. And I know false lashes can be a little bit scary. So I hope this helped you get that full dramatic lash look. Leave me any comments down below if you have any tips and tricks on how to make your lashes look a lot bigger than they actually are. And until next time, bye everyone.